Hello, so today I wanted to share with you some luxury beauty products that I feel have been totally worth the money for me or worth the splurge. I do a mix of drugstore and high-end here on my channel. It's been about six months since I've done a luxury beauty product video, so I thought it was about time. And I find these kinds of videos helpful, especially when I'm shopping for someone that might be a little bit hard to shop for, or if I'm just wanting to treat myself. So I have some makeup, hair care, and skincare products in this video and a bonus product as well and you know there may be some lower priced alternatives out there of these products but these have just been so good for me that they're staying in my life for a reason. I think I have roughly 10 or so products here I'm excited to share with you, so let's go ahead and get into it. But first, if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome back if you've been here with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button before the end of this video. All right, let's get started with these luxury products that for me, have been completely worth it. So I showed this first product in a video, I can't even remember how many months ago, it was one of my favorites videos. I fell in love with it and I've been using it every night since. I won't be without it and I get made fun of for it and I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. But I'm happy to say that Sleep and Glow saw that video, my favorites video, and they reached out to me to see if I wanted to partner with them on a video. So I do have a sponsor for today's video. Sleep and Glow is partnering with me today to talk to you about their Omnia pillow, which is the sole reason why I get good quality sleep. And I'm not kidding you. I know there's gonna be some people that are gonna say, oh, this is a sponsored video and that's why she's saying that. No, I said this months ago back when I had nothing at all going on with Sleep and Glow. I only partner with brands and products that I believe in because what's the point in me saying I like something and you going and trying it and then it being terrible, you know? I never wake up with neck pain anymore. I don't wake up with creases on my face because of this head cradle. It seems weird. It seems like it wouldn't be comfortable, but it really is, and it's the softest, cushiest pillow ever. The pillowcase does come on it, and I'm not even sure if you can really see the little face cradle here, but you lay with your head here, and there's a little dent. So your face is never smushed by the pillow like it normally would be. So you don't wake up with pillow creases. You don't wake up with that morning puffy face and your neck is ergonomically in the pillow. It's lined up perfectly. So if you roll over, there's a place for your head as well, and then you can roll over. It's the same on the other side. The pillowcase is super, super easy to get on and off because the pillow is so pliable. There's also an extra foam layer underneath to where you can raise it a little bit if you want it a little bit higher. I never thought I would be this excited about a pillow before, but I don't ever sleep without this, ever. And that's why I get made fun of, because I have this funky looking pillow, but it has worked wonders for my neck pain, even my sinuses. I just feel like I wake up better in the morning. I look better quicker, which means I can film earlier. Everything just flows better. And my family and friends just think it looks really funny, but I don't care. This is my nighttime savior so that I can function better in the morning. So if you've had any of those issues, this would be a pillow to check out for sure. I have a link down below in my description box. If you're on mobile, just hit the title below the video. If you're on desktop, look below that title and hit the words show more. You can see everything that I talk about in this video as well as what I'm wearing and you can get more information on this pillow. This concealer was not in my last luxury video, which was six months ago, because I don't think I discovered it then, but I wear this so much and it's been so worth the money for me. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Perfection Concealer. I am in the shade L6. This is such a phenomenal full coverage concealer that has some wonderful ingredients in it that help with anti-aging and hydration. It also helps it feel comfortable. It's great for under the eye. It's great for on the face. And I have different textures in those areas. I have an oily combination face and I have dry textured under eyes and this works perfectly for both areas. It blends out beautifully, but it doesn't look heavy or cakey. It brightens while it conceals and it feels good and wears great throughout the day. This has been totally worth the money, especially if you have some dark circles to cover and you want that extra coverage, but you just don't want to look like you're wearing heavy makeup. This is really, really good. I'm not sure if Laura Mercier is considered luxury or not, but I feel like the price of this highlighter is kind of luxury. And I do think that if you are over 
say 35 or 40 and you want to wear a highlighter but you're worried about texture and emphasizing some things around this area that you might not want to emphasize this is a must-have highlighter and this has been completely worth the money and it also will last forever and a day because you get so much product in the package so this is the laura mercier matte radiance baked powder highlight in the shade 01 which is the regular champagne highlight shade i mean you can see it's even got a dome shape you just get a ton especially for the amount of highlight you use on your face this is a grown-ups highlighter I feel like you can build it up and make it a little bit more apparent but it still looks very smooth and you can go more subtle and it just looks like you are getting a little bit of a lift enhancing your cheekbones or wherever you want to enhance but it's a natural dewy glowy look it's not a shimmer or a glitter it's not obvious highlight is what I'm trying to say beautiful completely worth having in your makeup drawer or at least it has been for me there is something magical about this cleanser i can't get enough of it i just don't know when or if i'm ever going to move on from it this is tatcha the rice wash i just talked about this recently in another video and i'll probably talk about it forever now i was using their cleanser in the blue bottle it's actually i think for oily combination skin they say this is for normal to dry skin but i feel like this is for any skin type it's a creamy cleanser that has some really really fine granules in it it's the rice and the hyaluronic acid it just cleanses thoroughly while leaving your face feel clean yet not stripped and nicely hydrated but you know it's perfect for oily combination skin too i just love the way this feels i love the way it smells i love the way my skin looks when i use this cleanser there's just something about it that is perfect for my skin i bought a second bottle i will keep buying it <laughs> i think forever it's so good i am going here with the Dyson dryer. I don't know why I didn't put this in the last video actually because I honestly don't see ever going back to a regular dryer after this. I have used a couple of regular dryers since purchasing this and there's just no comparison for me anyway. I mean I know there's some people that don't think this is that great. I mean I don't even have really thick hair. I have fine hair but I have a lot of it and I would say it took me about 15 minutes to blow dry my hair with a regular hair dryer just to you know style it with the blow dryer. This takes takes me about six or seven, maybe, and it looks smoother. So I can get more done in less time and it looks better and I'm getting less heat damage because I'm not using as much heat, I'm using more power. And I'm all about getting you know less damage to the hair. I mean, I think everybody is, right? So even if you don't notice less dry time, maybe it's the same, but you're using less heat and more power to get there, that's huge. I also really like the attachments. I've scrunched my hair with the diffuser, it's really good. They have a couple of nozzles. I mean, it is a lot for an appliance, but when you're using something every single day, you definitely want it to last. I mean, I've gone through several less expensive hair dryers within a year before. I invested in the T3 before this, which was actually a very good dryer, but this just blows all of them out of the water and that's been my experience anyway i can't even count how many tubes of the new brow brow enhancing serum i've gone through at this point i have patchy brows i have uneven brows i mean they still are patchy and uneven but they're a lot less patchy and uneven while using this so if i use it morning and night i will have more results than if i use it just at night i've used other brow serums before but none of them work this well and that's why i keep buying this particular one. Now they did change their packaging recently. They used to have a little brush tip on the end too, and that's that's gone now, which is fine. I didn't really even use that anyway. I just really love this product for enhancing my brow growth and making it so, you know, my brows aren't completely bald. And I mean, I've also tried natural methods, castor oil and all that didn't do anything. This has been completely worth the money for me. I resisted this product for a long time because I just thought it was all about the packaging, all about the brand. Why on earth do I need another bronzer? But I finally caved and bought the Gucci bronzer in shade three. I don't know what made me finally do it, but I'm really glad that I did because it's a gorgeous, 
bronzer. I mean, I thought this was all hype, but it's been totally worth the money for me because it is such a beautiful shade. There is a slight sheen to it, but it's a flattering sheen. It's very skin enhancing. I don't have to tap off my brush first before I apply it. It's quick and easy to apply. It's stunningly beautiful. And I mean, I feel like I'm going to keep this compact. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. So yes, the hype was real. I find myself reaching for this a lot. I like the shade I got for my light medium skin tone. Now there is a small brush included underneath here. I have not used that. This is a product that has been worth the splurge when I didn't even intend on splurging on it in the first place. There's just no way I could not put the Chanel La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenues in this video. I do have four shades for a reason. Now to see more information on these, I do have a whole video where I try to find dupes for these because there are some two-step lip colors out there, but none have quite matched these. These are the first liquid lip all day lip colors that have left my lips feeling nice and moisturized. They haven't emphasized any of my, you know, lip lines or texture and they actually last all day. I mean, these are mask worthy and yet they don't dry my lips out unlike similar products on the market or just regular liquid lipsticks. I actually would love to get the whole line. I mean, I like them that much. And I know there are many of you that feel the same way. This has just been a product that I am so glad I discovered and it took me a long time to finally try these because I didn't think they could be as good as they are, but they are. I'm giving another shout out to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray because I don't think it can be said enough how bulletproof this sets your makeup. And it does it without alcohol and without changing the finish of your makeup. So if you have a matte look, it doesn't make it dewy. If you have a dewy look, it doesn't make it matte. Now it's not going to make you so matte that you never have to blot during the day. I mean, you're going to have just a normal finish to your makeup, but it won't go anywhere. And again, very important while we're all wearing masks, the spray is beautiful. I've gone from not being a setting spray fan at all to loving this and using this pretty regularly because it works that good and it doesn't irritate my skin or make my skin feel tight or dry or like there's a film on it, even when everything is just totally sealed in. It's just been so worth the money. If you ever put your hair up in a ponytail, and you have not tried the slip hair ties. I don't think these are the most expensive things in the world, but I mean, for a hair tie, it's it's on the pricey side. And this brand is kind of on the pricey side for, you know, what they offer in comparison to the prices of other things that are on the market, I mean. Before I got these, I was wondering why on earth I would pay this for a hair tie. But since having them, these are the ones that I reach for all the time. And I've since bought a, a second pack of them. Because of the material, I thought they would just slip out of my fine hair. They do not. They hold it actually better than other hair ties. Hair never ever gets caught in these and they don't crease my hair. I have very crease prone hair. Even if I put my hair up for five minutes, I have a ponytail line in it. These don't do that. I don't know how these work the way they do, but they are totally worth it. I feel like, again, it's all about the health of the hair and these do a great job. I've just really been loving these and you know, these are the probably the least expensive product in here, but they're still luxury for what they are, but they've been totally worth it for me. Okay, this is my bonus product that I'm putting in this video because it has nothing to do with beauty. I mean, it has to do with making me feel good. When, when I feel good, I feel more beautiful. But I mean, these Uggs are not beautiful. <laughs> they're cute, but they're not beauty related. But my feet feel good when I wear them. These are a luxury that I feel like most of us probably wouldn't think to buy for ourselves. I mean, it might be a gift item or something. I've had many slippers in my day, but there really is nothing like Uggs. I mean, these are ones that I will go out of my way to put them on my feet because they feel so good. I'll walk around with, you know, just socks on or just bare feet. And I'm like, wait, where are my slippers? Where did I leave them last? I've never done that with any other slippers before because they just weren't this soft and cushy 
And look, you can just see how soft and cushy they are and warm. They do have some without the soles, which, you know, you could get too. I mean, maybe I'll get a second pair and get that kind. But I just had to put these in this video because I was thinking, I mean, these are a luxury item for sure, but they've been completely worth it. I mean, I've worn them outside too, and they're totally fine outside. I love these. These make me happy. And when we're happy, we're more beautiful. I mean, that's how I'm justifying putting these in this video, even though these are the bonus product. If you enjoyed this video, I'll have my yearly favorites playlist linked here where all of my best of beauty 2020 videos are. I have some great products in those videos that I think you'll like. And if you're not subscribed, be sure and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I have a lot of good things coming in December. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.